school in mourning and reaching out to support the family of a student athlete who collapsed and died many, many years too soon. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to 16-year-old Mario Campbell's principal. She joins us from the school. And Kim, what did she have to say about this young man? Well, so much because he was such a wonderful person. We are being told so many wonderful things about him. He was a great, dedicated friend and just had a good word to share with so many people. Take a look behind me here. This all happened yesterday afternoon. That's when a young man with a bright future collapsed in front of friends and teammates. Great student, um, taking AP courses. Um, he was very involved with track and field, and um, this was his second year running um, for our team. Um, just a great student overall. Mario Campbell had a bright future. Hardworking, dedicated, and determined is how the athletic director here at Ferndale High described him. But the teen who always had a good word to share died suddenly Thursday after collapsing at school. It happened after a training practice with the track team inside the school. Mario was rushed to Beaumont Hospital, but he could not be saved. In this online post, Mario once wrote that he's a middle class child who cannot afford college, but he dreamed of going to Morehouse in Atlanta to be part of the school's writing program. He wrote that he may not be the smartest kid, but he was going to try for a 4.0. Now the young man who seemed to be a friend to so many will be dearly missed as grief counselors at Ferndale High School today tried supporting students and staff. I've never seen anything like this. Um, kids hugging one another in the hallways, the staff embracing one another, and just being very supportive during this difficult time. Clearly a young man with so many dreams, and Glenda, the school's athletic director, even said that one of Mario's dreams was to be a top hurdler this season. Back to you.